हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी टेंथ सेशन ऑफ ओवरव्यू ऑफ सी इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टडी टाइप कन्वर्जन इन एक्सप्रेशन सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कन्वर्जन द फर्स्ट वन इज इम्प्लीसिट टाइप कन्वर्जन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज एक्सप्लीसिट टाइप कन्वर्जन इन सी वी कैन मिक्स कॉन्स्टंट and variables of different types in an expression that means in single expression we can use integer variable and also float variable this type of expression is automatically converts any intermediate values to the proper type so the expression can be evaluated without losing any significance this automatic conversion is known as implicit type conversion so basically here conversion is done automatically during evaluation it follows very strict rules of type conversion if the operands are of different types for example operands are integer and float the lower type is automatically converted to the higher type before the operation proceeds the result is of the higher type so here integer is lower type and float is of higher type so the calculation of integer and float number will result in floating number so in given example after adding integer value and floating the answer will be in floating number following are the sequence of rules that are applied while evaluating expression so all short and char are automatically converted to int that means if you use short and char data in expression these data types will be converted into int in the result so here we have declared a variable as short and b variable as character so if you try to add a plus b the result will be in integer because as per our rules short and character will be automatically converted into integer first one if one of the operand is long double the other will be converted to long double and the result will be long double that means in expression if long double integer is there then the final result will be long double so in given example we have declare integer float and long double so in calculation part a plus b minus c in that long double is there so the answer will be in long double second one else if one of the operand is double the other will be converted to double and the result will be double so in example we have declared a and c as integer and b as double so after calculating answer will be converted into double third one else if one of the operand is float the other will be converted to float and the result will be float so in example we have declared a as integer c as short and b as float so while calculating because short is present uh, sorry float is present that means answer will be in floating number 
fourth one else if one of the operand is unsigned long int the other will be converted to unsigned long int and the result will be unsigned long int so in given example we have declared variable a as unsigned long int and c as short because unsigned long int is present so the answer will be in unsigned long int fifth one else if one of the operand is long int and the other is unsigned int then there are two possibilities so the first one if unsigned int can be converted to long int the unsigned int operand will be converted as such and the result will be long int so in given example we have declared variable a as long int and b as unsigned int so as per in first condition if unsigned int can be converted to long int the result will be long int else both operand will be converted to unsigned long int and the result will be unsigned long int so if unsigned int is not converted into long int then the second condition that is both the operands that is a as well as b will be converted to unsigned long int and the result will be unsigned long int so the sixth rule is else if one of the operand is long int the other will be converted to long int and the result will be long int so in given example we have declared variable a as long int and variable b as int so after calculation that is a plus b the answer will be saved in long int the seventh one else if one of the operand is unsigned int the other will be converted to unsigned int and the result will be unsigned int so in given example a is declared as unsigned int and b as short so because unsigned int is present that means a plus b the result will be in the unsigned int the final result of an expression is converted to the type of the variable on the left of the assignment sign before assigning the value of it however the following changes are introduced during the final assignment first one float to int causes truncation of the fractional part so if we are converting float into integer we will lose the fractional part double to float causes rounding of digits and the third one long int to int causes dropping of the excess higher order bits so that's it for today's session in next session we will study the second type